Yeah, well, on the back of uh, last week's win at, at Everton, only one change. That's a fourth change in midfield. You see that Amadou comes in to replace Alex Tetti is out for personal reasons. Look out for Hernandez, number 11, and Todd Campbell on, on the right side there, rolling inside, getting involved, interchanging, swapping positions to try and give Arsenal a problem. Kenny McLean will play in the hole to start with, and Temu Puki, we've talked about, needs a goal. The first Arsenal game without Unai Emery at the helm, Robbie. Yeah, some big calls by Freddie Youngberg. to go down Mustafi makes his first Premier League appearance of the season next to David Luiz at the back. Granit Xhaka's back in the team. He's missed three Premier League games since his fallout with the club. It's a front three that can deliver goals in quality. Mesut Ozil starting from the right will probably play, be playing underneath Aubameyang and Lacazette, two centre forwards who both can score goals. Ready, Freddie? Go. The end of a tumultuous week for Arsenal. But will a change at the helm inspire a change in fortunes against the Norwich side, whose need of an upturn in results here is equally stark. Freddie Lundberg is prepared to try. There's a starting just as a fifth away game of the calendar year. Lacazette taking it on inside the penalty area. Will it? Bar a deflection, Lacazette. Couldn't quite scuff it into the net. Crawl able to recover in time. That's a good save in the end, Jim. Tim Crawl almost had to crawl over to get that ball. Just palms it away with his left hand in the end. Already the two Arsenal centre forwards are causing all sorts of problems for this Norwich City defence. He has a good stop as he's falling away. Chambers continues his run forward, Tribal in there, trying to block his progress, but here's Aubameyang, queuing up for it in the middle, it's Chambers that he falls to. And Arsenal have to make two with a corner. In the trouble with uh, less than half-hearted attempt to actually win that ball in the middle of the party, he's not committed, Chambers is the one who is, and it comes out to Aubameyang. Not able to, he actually gets so close to the byline that Norwich has got so many bodies, you know, just as he's trying to cut back. Scrambling at the moment. Yes, yes, yes. Arsenal looking for a tangible reward. Hernandez was there to clear it off the line. Back in from Willock. And Tim Krull. That's a clean pair of hands to it this time. Oh, he's a lucky boy, the goalkeeper. Kamer was nowhere near it. Chambers with the header. No, it's actually Mustafi. Mustafi comes right across. That's a great run and jump. Good defending on the line, yeah, good header. And there's Hernandez. Right man, in the right place. Ozil yeah. takes the corner, and it's another outstanding save. Tim Krull flicking it away from Callum Chambers' effort. They've got to be closer with these first challenges. In fact, there's been no challenge to a couple of Arsenal. It is, it's going wide anyway. Tim Krull makes sure, pushes it wide. And he's held uh, behind for another corner. Willock. Dispossessed by Hernandez. Time for McLean to turn in the midfield. Puki making the run ahead of him. That's an excellent run as well. Temu Puki onto his right foot. The deflection takes it in. First blood to Norwich City. A change of the helm, but no immediate change in fortune for Arsenal. Well, you can have all the punch in the world. Jim Bird, if you haven't got that real penetration in and around that, the opposing penalty box, then you're going to be in trouble. It's two against one for Puki. turns smartly, where's the challenge on him? Nobody gets through within a yard and a half, just outside the box. David Luiz is he's waiting and waiting for Puki to pull the trigger. You go and address the ball, address the situation. Mustafi's actually backpedalling, then comes Chambers around the outside, a wicked deflection. But just credit Puki. Yeah, it's a wicked deflection off the arm, I would imagine, off Mustafi. It may be going to the opposite corner anyway, but you'll take a look when it comes along. Poor defending from Arsenal. Well, Norwich defending with a high line here is Mesut Ozil. 
prepares to deliver from uh, only about 11 yards outside the box. Clicked in for the runners. Penalty. It's Zimmerman who's handled the ball. He's the one who's protested with the referee. Well, of course, I'll be looking at it. Took his time. Really took his time, Paul Tierney. Oh, yeah, it's handball. It's handball. He's off balance. He's almost turning his body away under pressure from David Luiz. He's actually trying to get himself out of the way, but why on earth has got his arm raised so hard like that? Christoph Zimmerman, I've no idea. Well, he's off his line just. That will be harsh to rule that back because Cruel is off his line. Well, the players on the far side of the penalty area don't come into wow. it. It's only if the ball comes back off Tim Cruel and it's one of the players who then clears for the corner. If he's encroached, it is a retake, and that's the decision that, the that the VAR has come up with. And Cruel's got to do it all again. Cruel doing everything he can to. Just try and get into the head of our Bamiyang, doing his bit to whip up the crowd as well. What a big moment this is. Bamiyang at the second time of asking, 1-1. Kept his nerve under pressure, and Arsenal are back on level terms. Tim Krul has got to be careful. Well, if it's good, if it's well, if it makes no difference now because he scored second time round. Second by another cherry for the Arsenal captain. He puts this one away. Krul who didn't uh, keep his nerve, if you like, and believe that Aubameyang will go to the same side which he did. This one is hit with more venom, and it's more in the corner. A few, uh, a few choice words probably said from the Arsenal captain to the Norwich goalkeeper. That's fair enough. It was a real battle. Here's the incident once again. The initial decision. No, that's not a foul. You're not going to get. You're not going to get away with that. Slightest of contacts on the arm, on the hand. It's a penalty. Cannot really complain. He's out back for Chambers. Big turn. Norwich stand firm. The play. Tribal. Pookie finding the McLean at the second time of asking. That's an excellent pass. Pookie will continue his run forward. Can Hernandez find him? It's Kenwell. It's 2 on the Norwich in first half stoppage time. Opportunities have been isolated, but they've taken them. And Arsenal staring down the barrel of the same old story. The central player might have changed, but the script at the moment is still the same. What a fantastic team goal for Norwich City. Absolutely slicing over the Arsenal midfield. A lovely ball from Kenny McLean with the outside of his foot. There's a composer to wait for his teammates, Ronald Hernandez. What about that for opening your body? Once again for Arsenal, so disappointing. That's an unchallenged shot right on the edge of the box. Cowell is sort of ghosting, waiting for the ball. Has if we look anybody behind me? No. Got time to open up. Leno's got no chance. Right into the side netting. Absolutely perfect. Three goals here at Carroll Road, all against big six opposition. He's netted against Chelsea and Manchester City. And now Arsenal to surely give Norwich a half-time advantage. From Kalasinac. Claims for a handball as the ball was worked in towards uh, Lacazette. And the uh, protest of vehement from the Arsenal players that they should have had a second penalty for handball of the day. I don't think they'll, they'll get this one, Jim. He's too close, Zimmerman. Yeah, it's far too close. Oh, he, he does turn round, but I think that's I think that's quite a natural movement. Something one thing they could do. Herzl flighting it in, and it was uh, Chamber Mustafi with the effort, then blocked out as far as Aubameyang. 
who scores his second of the afternoon. Crisply taken predatory instincts to the fore, and Arsenal are level again. You'll be happy if you're a Gunners fan and the ball fourth to your captain, Mustafi with... Is it Chambers with the attempt? Yeah, which gets blocked, Mustafi, isn't it? Yeah, good block from Sam Byron. There's Aubameyang. He hits it with conviction. No doubt where that was going. As soon as he lines up, the Gabonese striker. That's unstoppable. Approaching three quarters of possession now. And they've uh, been rewarded for that once. Now Kenny McLean striding through. What a save. Brilliant stop from Leonard. The post did the rest. A uh, huge moment in the match. That's great play from Amadou. Seizing upon the slow play from Granit Xhaka. That's a good hit, you know. He really puts his foot through that ball. This Kenny McLean goes for side foot. That's a world-class save. Amadou with the layoff. Can well. How close was that? Not far away, once again, lovely movement from young Tom Catwell. Big deflection. Oh, he strikes out well, strikes out well. Spinning ball, never easy to control. Nice firm side foot. Leno, so relieved to see that one just go past the post. from Norwich City, entirely their own making. Yeah, an aberration from the Amadou's had such an excellent afternoon. Yeah, it was very nearly costly. <laughs> so they're riding the challenge of Cantwell. The deflection caused all kinds of problems back in from Abbey. Piece of improvisation from Ozil didn't quite come off. No, Still did have well. a corner. No, Godfrey did well. It's quite easy to get your feet uh, tangled up there and end up in the back of your net. No idea why Camwell goes to ground so easily. Um, look at that ball goes so far above the head of Aubameyang. Uh, cheeky little back flip from Ozil. Ozil with the corner. Chambers finding Ozil. And continuing his run forward as well, the full back. Ozil. More than a pass back for Tim Krull. Good enough, Sam Byron. Stay close, didn't dive in. That was my one fear as the ball came out towards the two of them. And he just overcommit himself, go to ground, and Ozil may feel the challenge and go to ground. I can say that they've actually defended that well throughout the game. But... Could get worse for them yet. Would have done had it not been for another acrobatic stop from Ben Leno. Well, they can be thankful for the, to the German goalkeeper. That's a good save. Not quite as spectacular as the one he made from Kenny McLean early in the second half. Once again, takes another big deflection. Yeah, nice and athletic. McLean's looping header. Well, Leno will come out of this game as long as he doesn't concede or make any. Sulier in the last couple of minutes. That's for me, uh, arguably the real hero of the Arsenal performance today. Now Puki trying to get the better of Mustafi, who tried to bring him down and failed. They got a man over. And oh, Leno is there first. It was Buendia on the right-hand side of the penalty area. He was in acres of space, but they couldn't find it. Puki did the right thing. I couldn't quite see which Arsenal player got himself in a way, and that deflection just took all the sting out of the pass. It made it easy in the end for Leno to collect. Norwich straight up the other end, looking for a winner themselves. Frydenberg couldn't get the victory in his first game in interim charge, not the result Arsenal fans were wanting. Controversial lineup chosen by Lindbergh. The draw has them in eighth position. 
Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern on NBCSN. And for more than 1,400 hours of exclusive Premier League content, make sure to visit nbcsports.com gold.